Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after not releasing any insider builds for the Dev and Beta channel over the last two weeks, Microsoft late on Friday on the 20th has finally rolled out a new beta uh, channel build for the insider program and also a new dev channel build. But first of all, in this video, focusing on the beta channel, which has been bumped up to Insider Preview Build 22635.4225 and that was made available with the latest update KB5043186. Now first of all, uh, just looking at some changes and improvements. And the first is they have added the ability to share content to an Android device from the context menu in File Explorer and on the desktop. And to use this feature though, just say, take note that the phone link must be installed and configured on your PC. And then one I'm very happy to see roll out, and I think a lot of you would agree with me, is they are adding the ability to finally configure the Copilot key. Now this Copilot key, and I'll leave a video regarding this when I first uh, we first spoke about the Copilot key on the channel, it's just for you to play catch up in case you were unaware. But um, Microsoft says that you can now choose to have the Copilot key launch an app that is M6 packaged and signed, thus indicating the app meets security and privacy requirements to keep customers safe. So you'll be able to configure, choose what happens when you press the Copilot key. And I'm very in favor of this because obviously this Copilot key caused a lot of debate in certain circles when uh, Microsoft first made it available. And now Microsoft is finally starting to give you a little bit of choice. And I like that when we get options to customize an OS or browser, you know, to our own personal choice and preference. So they carry on to say, the key will continue to launch Copilot on devices that have the Copilot app installed until a customer selects a different option. Obviously, I think that goes without saying. And they also say that this setting can be found via settings, personalization, text input, if the keyboard connected to the, your PC does not have a Copilot key, just take note though that adjusting the setting will not do anything. But nonetheless, I think that's a very nice move in the right direction. And those are the two kind of new improvements and features that have rolled out to the beta channel for last week. Now, just focusing on uh, two important fixes that have rolled out. If you are in the beta channel, I think these are worth men mentioning. Microsoft says they have fixed an issue that was causing some insiders to see the emoji panel not working properly again in the previous flight, which was two weeks ago, as mentioned. We're closing after selecting one emoji and not able to switch categories. So that was the issue. So that's been a f uh, um, that's been addressed. So that's just a niggly little issue that's uh, been fixed. And then the next one is they fixed an issue. I'm just mentioning this. They fixed an issue which was causing some insiders to experience a bug check when closing Notepad in the previous flight and then we've got a couple of under the hood general fixes and then we've got a known issue um, because obviously the beta channel although closer to stable is in effect still in beta so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one